Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Elon Musk and Tesla. But before that, I just want to let you know I'm watching a series called Billions right now. It's basically on rich people, the stock market. Uh, so far, I've watched three episodes and I'm not liking it so far. I'll be honest with you, I do not like Billions. But just because, you know... I want to give it at least one season because I can still change my mind. I can still change my mind after one season, but I'm going to give it at least one season. And if I don't get hooked in one season, I just wasted my time watching 12 episodes. Uh, before, you know, and then just before I talk about Tesla, I just want to, I also watched two seasons of Westworld. The first episode of Westworld was not bad, but it kind of went downhill from there. And I just, I think I just completely wasted my time watching Westworld. It was boring. Like, it didn't make any sense to me. The characters were not, you don't get attached to the characters. You, like, don't even give a crap about the characters. Uh, you know, to me, uh, like, even though uh, Metacritic gave it a good score and it had a good user score, I just... I don't like it. I gave it two seasons. I felt like I wasted my life watching this show. But anyways, let's move on to Elon Musk. So Elon Musk is now selling his house. First, he tells people that uh, his he tells people that um, his his stock is overvalued, and uh, he says he's gonna sell his house. Uh, you know, over the weekend, he listed his house uh, for sale. He's basically you know doing what he's saying. And rich people don't care. Rich people love Tesla stock right now uh, because it got pumped $59.87 today. If you told me retail investors uh, did that, I, I'd laugh at you because retail investors did not pump Tesla stock $60 to the upside. Because if you think about it, uh, Tesla has about 185 million outstanding shares. So every single dollar it goes up is a lot of money. 158 times 59 is uh, 9 billion dollars got pumped into Tesla stock. And after hours another like billion dollars got pumped into Tesla. You know, I, I, you, if you tell me billionaire retail investors... Well, obviously, billionaire retail investors. They, I mean, I mean, they are re billionaire, billionaire retail investors. But lots of billionaires love Tesla. They 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 just love Tesla. And even if Elon Musk say sell, uh, my stock is too high. Sell, sell, sell. They're not gonna listen to him. They're gonna buy more. They're gonna do the exact opposite of him. Short sellers have nothing to say. They have nothing to say. They, they could go out and say Tesla is overvalued, but Elon Musk already said Tesla is overvalued. They can say that Elon Musk fudged a bunch of finances when, when it doesn't matter when Elon Musk says that, uh, you know, my stock is overvalued. And ever since he said that, it, the stock's just gone up. So, I mean, it, it crashed f at first, but then it just recovered. So... Like, for example, when he mentioned it, the stock went from literally 700, oh no, he mentioned it over here, the stock went from $760 all the way down to 3686 and after that, it just bounced back, so, and it's going up after hours, do you think it has anything to do with retail investors? No, it's rich people love Tesla stock. As a retail investor, you're riding on the back coats of rich people. You're hoping more and more rich people pile, pile onto Tesla. Uh, but there are some rich retail investors trading this stock too. So, you know, again, the stock market is a transfer of wealth. And then... Uh, Tesla was supposed to open the Gigafactory on May 4th. May the force be with you. May the force be with Tesla. But the force wasn't with Tesla. Because there was no news today regarding of any Gigafactory reopening. And I've, 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 re I've searched all over the internet. Absolutely no news. 
that any gigafactory or any kind of factory is reopened in uh in the US right now. And if you read more, you know, some other companies are saying May 11th, May 12th, May 20th before they reopen their factories like uh, Toyota, Ford, GM. So, you know, I don't think Elon's going to, the force is not with him. The force is not with the Gigafactory. And I think this is what led him to go crazy and sell his house and say Tesla stock is overvalued. But... Rich investors don't give a crap. They are still buying up Tesla stock, and that's why Tesla stock rallied ten billion dollars in one day. In one day, so you know, obviously, you know, retail, you know, there's no poor people moving this stock. It's super f- rich people love Tesla right now. Rich investors love Tesla right now, so. Uh, and if I would appreciate it for a thumbs up for this video, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, what really grows my channel if you subscribe, but maybe a thumbs up might help. It may help promote my, it might help my, it might help you to promote my channel to more, a wider audience, hopefully, because I know that there's a lot of Tesla investors out there in this world. Uh, moving forward, this is some news that is not Tesla related, but uh, Hertz, I brought this up not too long ago when I brought it up, Hertz was trading around 4 US dollars, after hours it's crashed another 87 cents, you would have made a fortune if you shorted test Hertz at 4 US dollars, because right now it's trading at $2.72. Uh, Hertz is preparing to file bankruptcy if Monday deadline is missed. This article came out from Bloomberg and Hertz just plummeted uh, 87 cents in, in after hour market trading. And then I came across this uh, article that was kind of interesting. A broken supply chain means that these 11 products could be out of stock soon. Many of these products people use in the U.S. are manufactured aboard. So the virus-related factory shutdowns in China, India, and elsewhere could rip could have a ripple effect on the availability of these items here soon if they haven't already. Even some products are, that are manufactured domestically are in short supply as manufacturing facilities struggle to keep up with unexpected high demands. Uh, these supply chain issues, empty store shelves, and out of stock items on majority retail website have became become the new norm. Laptops, laptops export from China to US decrease. Medical supplies, pharmaceutical products, which makes sense. iPhones, which should be affecting Apple, uh, but uh, you know Apple is still very close to all time highs right now. Uh, toilet paper, which you know I funny story. I heard that uh, in Edmonton we ran out of toilet paper from the store shelves. So people were using uh, paper towels and flushing them down their toilets and clogging up their toilets because they are dumb and don't realize that to- uh, to- uh, paper towels are not meant for the toilet. LCD television should be affecting Samsung. Garlic, uh, you know, I. Uh, Whatever, vapes could affect some of the MJ companies in Canada and affect, uh, what's that company called? Altira? Maybe? I don't know. Diet soda, which is going to affect Coke and Pepsi. Special food items, uh, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot. I could continue with the story, but let's move on. Even Nintendo Switch is finding problems, high demand, they are, right now, Nintendo Switch is getting, uh, pushed, the price is getting pushed higher because there is a low demand, sorry, there's a low supply for Nintendo Switch and because everyone's stuck at home, everybody wants to pick up a Nintendo Switch for their little kids and the supply chain is getting lower. AMD, AMD are uh, near all time highs even though their laptops are going to get affected and possibly computer supply parts in the near future here. But yet it doesn't matter because AMD 
you know, AMD should crash, but will it? I don't know. It should, but rich people don't want to let AMD crash. Apple, uh, Apple should crash because of iPhone problems, cell phone problems, no new products. Uh, next quarter is going to be worse than last quarter, but is Apple crashing? Nope. It's going up and it's going to be heading back to $324 in the near future here. Samsung should crash, but you know, it's just kind of trading sideways. Like according to, uh, sorry, according to this article, uh, LCD televisions and who's the biggest manufacturer of LCD television? Samsung. So Samsung should crash, but it's probably not. Right now, after hours in the pre-market, everything is green. Uh, even though uh, Warren Buffett is scared, he's saying that he's not buying stocks anymore, which is probably another video I could make. Uh, and the stock market is going up after hours. So, so much for a market crash. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is a trick, but... I don't know, I feel like there is the invisible force of the Fed pumping into the market. They're not really just announcing it. Like for example, Treasury seeks to borrow a record $3 trillion this quarter. What kind of news uh, headline is that? You know, that that is stock market positive news headline. More borrowing, more debt, more money. Uh, yeah, anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.